What's up? I'm the Calcara 131, and this is my review of the Halo Strategic Skimmer Trigger. So this is how the Haley Strategic Skimmer Trigger shows up. Pretty basic, just sort of plasticky material tube. If I can get this damn thing open. So first thing. First thing is actually the trigger itself. Get a spring, which I'm not 100% positive what these are for. Got some internal parts spring cups and a safety mechanism I'm not positive of the name of it but on here just disclaimers and shit nothing important on that card that's what I figured and this is just a business card for uh, Glock triggers where I bought this one glocktriggers.com and here is the trigger itself. Zip tied closed so these two parts don't come off, come off, but has the blade safety in the trigger so it retains that. This is supposed to retain all of the safeties of a standard Glock trigger. So you can kind of see the two different fire control groups here. This one on top is the Haley Strategic. This is the OAM that came with my G45. Just kind of looking at the parts, you can see how much better the skimmer over here. The the coating they put on it, the polish, everything just looks so much cleaner. Remember, this is totally brand new. None of this is like wear or carbon or anything. I've never shot this. I just got this. So that's just how it looks from the factory. And this one just looks so much cleaner and like almost like has a chrome coating to it the skimmer of course does retain the little trigger safety on there all right so this is my glock 45 mos this is the trigger before i install the haley strategic skimmer double check no magazine empty and pretty much immediately, as soon as you get on it, there's some weight and stacking coming up to the wall. Hit the wall. Slowly work through. There's not very good. The brake isn't very crisp. Let it come out. Reset's not terrible. One more time. Some weight and stacking as, as soon as you get on it. Some mush as you push through. All right, guys, I just got this Haley Strategic skimmer installed. This is my first time ever trying this. I have not dry fired this at all. I just installed it. So let's see how it feels for me. Nothing in it. No magazine. All right. Same thing I'd say as the OEM. Still a little bit of stacking. No... There's no real discernible wall. I guess you could say right there. Okay, the, the snap is a lot better. I'll give them that. Reset. Eh, I'd say the reset's pretty much similar. Interesting. HSP skimmer trigger. I have shot now around 1,050 rounds, give or take. Most of it with uh, 
Wolf Tula sort of cheap Russian steel case ammo. And it's been it's flawless. I mean, I don't know what else to say. It did. It does exactly what it you expect it to, and what it uh, says that it will. It is a trigger made entirely with Glock OEM parts, so you know it's going to work. And it's cleaner than a standard Glock trigger, like a 100% OEM non-polish anything like that. Standard even Gen 5 Glock triggers. It is 100% a superior trigger. There's the pre-travel is a little bit less. The brake is cleaner. Reset. It's perfectly fine. It does what it says it will. However, <clears throat> in the end of the day, as I said, I've tried a little over a thousand rounds with it. I have, I could put more through it, but I got enough to, as of right now, have a pretty good verdict on it. And uh, category one, is it a good trigger? Does it accomplish what it sets out to do? Yes, it absolutely does. It's a good duty, self-defense, sort of ear oriented trigger. However, does it do what it does what it claims to do well enough to be worth the price tag, which is around 160 bucks? And that's where I have to say no. In my honest opinion, I would not spend 160 bucks on another one of these. As you have seen earlier in my the clips I threw in where I compared the trigger originally in this G45 MOS Gen 5 com compared it to the uh Haley Strategic Skimmer, once I had it installed, uh, you can kind of go back and listen and you can kind of tell whenever I tried the skimmer, I was a little disappointed. I was expecting something more. I was expecting it to be a bigger, a bigger difference. And the fact is, it's just not. I went and tested this side by side right after each other against a Glock 17 Gen 5 that I have also. And let me tell you, the Haley Strategic Skimmer is 100% a better trigger but only marginally. Yeah, the, the pre-travel is a little bit less, it's a bit cleaner, and the brake, yeah, it's a bit smoother, a bit crisper, but it's still a Glock trigger. And unless you go completely, entirely aftermarket and you do sort of like competition-oriented triggers, you're not gonna get a trigger that's that great. It's just a fact of Glocks look up any review and if they talk about the triggers, you're almost guaranteed to hear them say the same thing. The triggers are very reliable and as long as it's a trigger with OEM Glock parts, yeah, it's gonna function. And that's one of the pros for this skimmer trigger. They used 100% entirely OEM Glock parts, they just polished them, but it's still a Glock trigger. It's not a Canic trigger, for instance. I have several Canics, and their triggers are just amazing. The no pre-travel going straight to a wall, super nice brake. They're just infinitely, frankly, in my opinion, infinitely better than a Glock trigger. And I've had no issues with any of those either. So the Halo Strategic Skimmer, is it a good trigger? Absolutely. Is it better than a standard include in the box? OEM Glock trigger? Yes. Is it worth 160 bucks? No, not to me. Now for you that might be different. I can't say what is worth it to you. You might make 100 grand a year and for all I know 160 bucks really is nothing to you. So in that case it just depends on how much you value 160 bucks. In the end of the day that's all it is. If you value 160 bucks pretty highly that's a decent chunk of change for you. I absolutely would not say you should get this Halo Strategic Skimmer. If that's the case and you want a trigger that's slightly better than a standard trigger, I would say look into doing the Glock 25 cent trigger job. Take all the parts for the trigger out, polish them yourself. And that's going to get you, I would say pretty close to what this skimmer trigger does. Is it gonna be as nice? No, is it gonna cost next to nothing compared to 160 bucks for, in my opinion, marginal improvements. Yeah, absolutely. I would not recommend this to anyone that's on a budget. Let me put it that way. If you're on a budget and 160 bucks is a big deal, avoid this. Spend your money on ammo and practicing. 
compared to a standard Gen 5 trigger, which from what I've heard, the Gen 5 triggers themselves are vast improvements over Gen 4s. Compared to a Gen 5, this just isn't all the rage that I was expecting it to be. And I'm pretty, frankly, I'm kind of let down that it was only marginally better. It's still a good trigger, but it's not what I was really hoping it would be. Yeah, I just can't say it any other way. It's not worth it to me. It's not worth 160 bucks to me. Is it worth it to you? I don't know. I can't answer that. That depends on how much $160 is worth to you. But my personal opinion on the Haley Strategic Skimmer Trigger, it's good, but not worth the price tag they want for it. So pros and cons of the Haley Strategic Skimmer Trigger. Uh, one pro would definitely be it's a better trigger. It may be marginally, but it is absolutely a cleaner trigger, better break, slightly shorter reset. It does all of that correctly. It's less weight. It has a four and a half pound uh, trigger connector in here, if I recall correctly. Less pre-travel. It's cleaner. Break is better. Short reset. It does that very well. That's definitely a pro. Another pro, it's entirely a drop-in unit. It doesn't take anything to install this thing in a Gen 5. Literally, you can remove the slide, remove these two pins, lift out the locking block and the slide release, and that's it. That's all you got to do. Then the entire trigger assembly comes out, slide in the skimmer trigger, put it all back in. It literally can take you less than five minutes to install one of these things. That's definitely a pro as well. Now, some cons about it, again, for 160 bucks, you're not getting a market improvement over at least a Gen 5 trigger. I've never shot a Gen 4 Glock, so maybe compared to a Gen 4 trigger, this would be a, a damn cat. This, would, this might be a very big improvement over a Gen 4 trigger, but a Gen 5 is just not. It's not any kind of leaps and bounds ahead of it. It's still very much a Glock OEM trigger. Another con, and this is sort of the whole basis of this, my final verdict on it, it's 160 bucks. As someone that's on a budget, I don't have a whole lot of money to throw around at this stuff. 160 bucks is, it's a pretty big deal. That's a thousand rounds of nine millimeter that I could have got. That's a thousand rounds of cheap Russian 223 I could have got, and I could have practiced with it instead of getting a trigger that frankly is not that much better. Had I known ahead of time, had I known then what I know now, I absolutely would not have gotten this trigger. Simply because for me, on the budget that I'm in, with the sort of use that I'm gonna be doing with this, 160 bucks is too much money for the kind of improvement this thing gives you. One more pro that I just happened to think of is it's reliable. It is absolutely reliable. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. I have not had any kind of malfunctions with it. I haven't had any any issues at all. I can't think of any legitimate issues I've had with its Glock in the little over a thousand rounds I've shot through it so far. Uh, if induced malfunction, sure, but nothing actually unexpected. And that is largely due to the fact that it's made entirely of Glock OEM parts. You know, uh, some other gun tubers I've I watch and I follow myself. Uh, I've heard them say before that a lot of the times when they hear about issues with Glocks, Glock handguns, a lot of the time they find out that each and every one of those issue guns that have problems are almost always running some sort of aftermarket customized trigger. And the advice I've heard from several of them is just stick with Glock OEM parts. They, they're not great, they're not amazing triggers, but they're ultra reliable and they get the job done. And that is, like I said, another con that I'll give to this skimmer trigger. 100% Glock parts, just polished, lighter, lighter, lighter connector in it, and it's had no issues at all, 100% reliable. So final verdict, TLDR, the Haley Strategic Skimmer Trigger. Is it a good trigger? Absolutely. Is it worth 160 bucks? Not to me. Is it to you? Depends on how 
how much money you have to spend and how much a slightly better trigger is worth to you. If you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I got some more reviews coming. Review on this Holosun 508T is almost done. I got some other stuff in the works. Uh, go ahead and follow me on Instagram. I'm a lot more active there. And uh, yeah, I'm the Calcara 131 signing off.